first of all uh, heartfelt tributes to neeraj sir god give enough strength to the family to bear the irreparable loss they had and our condolences with the family now moving to my topic computer forensics data acquisition and duplication it plays an important role as we know that data acquisition is the first proactive step in the digital forensic investigation right the aim of the forensic uh, data acquisition is to extract every bit of the information present on the victim's hard drive and create a forensic disk and create a copy to use it as an evidence in the court of law whenever we go for any uh, raid or we uh, go for any Uh, go to the victim's uh, place to uh, have the digital evidences to take the uh, uh, digital evidences from that place a data acquisition plays a very important role how we are going to uh, get that data what, whatever is there and uh, as a cyber forensic investigator we should have the ethics to deal with the uh, uh, smart devices that can help a lot in the investigation process the process of investigating acquiring volatile data from computers uh, that is there in the registry or ram or in the uh, static part the data acquisition it has been divided into two parts and one should be very familiar if as an investigator i am going to such place where we we have to take the evidences i have to see that which uh, uh, acquisition i have to do I, either it's a live data acquisition or a static data acquisition and uh, live data acquisition is uh, generally done on the uh, on the computers that are not turned off because a lot of information in the uh, ram is there as far as the we can say that uh, volatile data is there and that is that is only the data that can be uh, acquired in the real time and if the device or the smartphone or the computer is turned off uh, the device we can lose the uh, access to all the volatile data next slide slide please yeah live data acquisition as already said that uh, when it's all stored in the ram to uh, that's there in the registries uh, cache memory and if the computer is turned off uh, by mistake we can lose all the access to the live data that's there in the ram and uh, it can uh, be very uh, uh, that the same cannot be uh, produced in the court of law that we cannot uh, go uh, that we cannot prove ourselves that whatever the victim has done it's uh, it's against the law or it's uh, in favor of him next slide please now the question arises that why the volatile data is inform, uh, important the information the that's there on the ram that's the running processes passwords sometimes there are in the clear text instant messages there are what are the communication they had and uh, commands what they are using the command console commands and internet protocol addresses to which they are connected we can get lot of information uh, from that if, if we talk of the uh, uh, crimes uh, like cyber terrorism or any other crime we can uh, get the information that uh, how they are connected to their counterparts we can get the ip addresses to to the uh, places where they have been in uh, connection with and if we talk of the malware some sometimes in the victims uh, computer there is a malware and it's only pro possible that in during the live data acquisition we can get all this information and sometimes uh, when the uh, systems are on and uh, we uh, the data is not encrypted and that times we can have the access to that encrypted data also now the question arises that who has logged into the system open ports listing applications registry information system information and attached devices all uh, the information uh, it's all uh, the volatile con constitutes a volatile data and it's all only possible uh, that this type of data can be acquired when the system mm -hmm. is on and if the system goes off we lose all the access to the, this type of data next slide please these are the screenshots we have acquired while uh, acquiring the live data acquisition you can uh, see that the uh, uh, control panels we have uh, the internet uh, protocol addresses to which the computer has been uh, connected attached devices is there and uh, we can see that running processes pids mm -hmm. we can get the information of the pids we can get the information of the devices that have been connected to the computer any hard hard disk or any uh, usb drive we can get the serial number of that 
uh, drive also and it's very important it's very important as an investigator if i go to such uh, such place where uh, the system is uh, uh, on and if uh, by mistake if i don't follow the cyber uh, investigator ethics if i am not familiar with the ethics then uh, all this uh, access to this data is lost and i cannot prove that the victim is uh, a victim in the court of law next slide please now come the stata, uh, static data acquisition now uh, now the uh, we can say that the process of acquiring non volatile data or unaltered data that remains in the system even after the system is uh, switched off uh, then we can have the temporary file system registries then uh, system logs event logs boot sectors web browser cache cookies hidden files all these uh, constitute the static data if uh, a system is uh, off then we can have the access to the uh, this uh, data and not to the volatile data so when as an investigator i go to the place uh, i see the systems i have to see as a uh, which system is running which system is off and i have to uh, maintain a chain of custody also and uh, all the documents all the who is dealing with the devices who is having the access to the devices and uh, chain of custody is to be maintained a uh, person dealing with each and every device serial numbers of the device uh, the mac address of the devices we have to keep all things into record so that same can be produced in the uh, court of law that uh, the victim is uh, uh, that he has committed the crime next slide please Next. now the question is the what are the methods of data acquisition if uh, if we go uh, through the static data acquisition uh, there are two types of uh, data acquisition disk to image and other is to disk to disk image the disk to image is general, uh, it's the most uh, commonly method adopted by the uh, for, forensic investigators to uh, have the uh, uh, to get the data to equip, 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 have the acquisition of the data means to make the image of the uh, hard drives and uh, sometimes uh, due to some errors the, the same is not been done then we can have the disk to disk uh, image uh, bit stream uh, data acquisition method and uh, various tools are there as well as hardware or software tools are there that that that, that can be used to have the data acquisition either it's a, uh, we can say live data acquisition or the static data acquisition and when the data acquisition is done we have to keep in mind that uh, we have to check the integrity of the uh, image that that has been obtained and we have to use uh, the right blockers uh, while going for the data acquisition uh, right blockers and we have to calculate the hash values also so that uh, we can uh, prove in the court of law that it's the uh, image on which we have worked and the thumb rule of the uh, investigation is that that we never have to work on the original image it's only the uh, image uh, of the original uh, disk that has been acquired we have to work on the uh, image of the uh, copy next next slide please determining the best acquisition method while uh, going for, for the uh, data acquisition process and while whether it's duplication of the making the images of the uh, any uh, hard disk or, an, or any system or any server we can have to see that uh, which uh, is the best method we have to see the size of the disk that which method, which tool we can use uh, so that we can go for the data acquisition. We can uh, have the imaging of the uh, hard disk. What is the size of the uh, hard disk? And uh, mm -hmm. what uh, if the suspect's drive is very uh, large, we have to use the tape uh, backup systems, super uh, digital uh, liner tapes, digital audio tapes, digital uh, storage. We usually call the, these as, as a, as a DLT or uh, DAT or DTTS and this, these things have to be taken into consideration when going for the data acquisition. Next slide, please. Next slide, next slide. Yeah, now uh, if we talk of the data acquisition, we have the hardware softwares available that can be used as per the, uh, we have to see uh, which is the best if the uh, device, uh, uh, suspect device is very large, then we have to use the uh, required uh, hardware or the softwares. And if we talk of the uh, solo, uh, previous slide, previous slide, please. Ah. Yeah, solo four. Uh, this is the hardware uh, forensic data acquisition uh, 
hardware that we usually use. It's a forensic hard drive duplicator. It uh, authenticates SHA-1, SHA-2, MD-5, and also supports IDS, uh, RAID, EID, SATA drives, as well as variety of micro drives. It has a gigabyte uh, Ethernet connectivity, allowing the investigator to upload the image to storage area network. And if we talk uh, of the uh, Roadmaster and uh, fast and reliable hard drive imaging uh, tool, and uh, it's advanced forensic tool used by the law enforcement agencies. It, and if we talk of the features of this, has high speed operation preview and analysis, we can do it high speed forensic tool with drive interface. And uh, if we talk of the, it has multi uh, capture methods and multi drive copy. Next slide. And yeah, if we if we talk of the uh, rapid uh, image 7020TS, uh, it has a uh, uh, imaging uh, capacity of 3.5, uh, 8 GB, sorry, 8 GB per minute. It can have the uh, copy, uh, it can image, uh, it can clone a hard disk and a variety of hard disks can be used in, in this. We have a different, uh, we can see as from, uh, from the uh, picture that we can use continuous five, six uh, hard disks that can be placed in this and they can be cloned. And uh, the last one is the uh, Wipro PRO. It supports eight uh, SA, uh, SATA ID, eSATA drives at a speed of 18 GB uh, per minute. And the cloning speed is very high. It's allow uh, investigators to change uh, drives very quickly. It supports sanitization up to five USB disks. Next slide, please. Apart from the uh, hard hardware tools, we have the software also that can be used for uh, duplication and uh, acquisition purpose. Next slide, please. Yeah, we have the, this is a list of the software we can use to have the data acquisition and duplication tools. These are very uh, helpful in the investigation uh, process because the same we have to uh, prove in the court of law that we are working on the uh, device, what information we have gathered, whether it's uh, volatile data or whether it's, live data acquisition or the static data acquisition. It plays a uh, very important role. And as an investigator, we should have uh, well versed with these tools, uh, uh, either it's the software, we talk of software or we talk of the hardware tools. And uh, these play an important role and uh, having the SS, having the, as uh, if we are working in a forensic laboratory, we should uh, keep, uh, uh, we can say that we, uh, we can have the uh, register who is dealing with the these type of uh, cases and uh, who has the access to the cases so that the uh, uh, the evidence cannot be tampered thank you thank you very much